Anthony Donskoff here at Donskoff Strength and Conditioning. I uh, wanted to talk to you guys today about armor building or hypertrophy for collision athletes. Just uh, finished reading uh, Coach Dan John's book, Easy Strength, and it was a, it was a gem of information uh, for both athletes, um, any type of lifter really. Um, but one of the quadrants that Coach Dan John referred to in his book was the second quadrant for collision sports. Basically, this quadrant means that we have a lot of qualities to train for at a pretty high relative absolute max, which basically fits the criteria for sports like hockey, sports like football, okay? Uh, he also dedicated a chapter to what he calls the elephant in the room, which is hypertrophy. Um, and he had such a simple analogy uh, and such a simple uh, way of explaining it that I wanted to share it with you coaches today, okay? Um, Coach Dan John really talked about the inverse S-curve for hypertrophy for contact athletes, okay? Uh, I want to explain a little bit more about this inverse S-curve and keep in mind that these aren't absolutes in terms and measures of ages, but they're pretty good approximations, okay? If we look at the inverse S-curve for hypertrophy for contact and collision athletes, okay? Pretty much the first four to six years uh, an athlete trains, which literally, again, approximation-wise takes them to senior year of high school or freshman, sophomore year, year of university, excuse me, we're really trying to focus on that quality, okay? Um, we want lean muscle mass, okay, for a lot of, of, of beginner lifters, okay, progressive resistance, okay, but again, that hypertrophy climbs in those years of training, okay? You see on that S-curve, it starts to slowly decrease after that, okay? Why? Well, now we're training other qualities, okay? We're looking more at power, speed, okay, explosive ability. Those are different qualities than training for hypertrophy, okay? At the end of one's career, as we age and we get older, hypertrophy, again, is of importance, okay? Bone mineral density, okay? Sarcopenia, loss of muscle mass. So as we age, hypertrophy is important, okay? How do we go about this in strength and conditioning? In my opinion, it's just good programming, okay? If we look at hypertrophy for young athletes, how do we get that? Well, time under tension and repetition. If it's important, do it and do it often, okay? Um, you know, tempo and reps, okay, and sets, okay, for more time under tension for our youth athletes or for our younger athletes, so more volume, okay. As we teeter off in here, we're looking at an athlete, you know, in the mid-20s, early 30s, more, more mid-20s, okay, we're, we're going for different qualities, so chances are the volume's decreased, we're going for qualities of speed and power, okay, and absolute strength. Again, after that time, retirement or post-career, Okay, or as we age, we start throwing a little bit more high volume work in there to get that muscle mass that we lose with age. Okay, so again, I wanted to share this with you guys. I thought it was a really interesting way in, in, in the way Coach John portrayed it. Um, and I hope this, hope this helps with you guys and your athletes.